Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Beauty by Nisha. If you're new here, my name is Nisha, and for today's video, I'm going to be testing out the new Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint, and as well as the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. So these products um, just hit the shelves recently over the last couple months. Um, they are supposed to be very minimal coverage um, and more or less just as like a little bit of a skin tint um, just to cover up a little bit of whatever you want to cover up but very minimal coverage type of thing. It's definitely a little bit out of the ordinary for myself. I feel like I always lean towards more like medium to full coverage, but I'm trying to do the whole less is more. Um, I think for myself, mainly I go for medium to full coverage because I have a lot more blemishes and uneven skin tone, but I have been, you know, focusing on skincare a lot over the last two years ever since having my first child um, to help my skin and get rid of any blemishes um, you know monitor and reduce my breakouts um, and just help with any hyperpigmentation and acne scarring which I tend to have a lot of so I'm Excited to just give these products to try to see if I actually like them. Um, I'm hoping that I do like them and that they give me enough coverage that I'm happy with. Sometimes I find that when I use like minimal coverage type things, the way they cover up my blemishes, it just looks like it looks like I tried to cover it up. So I'm looking for something that's a little bit more natural on my skin when it comes to that, um, so that it kind of does like do the blurring effect and makes it look like I didn't try to cover anything up. It just naturally looks, you know, like my skin is not as flawed, I guess you can say, um, with my acne scarring and hyperpigmentation and stuff like that. So if you want to see me try out these products, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and continue to watch. Okay, so for my shades, um, I did go in store to swatch the shade for the ease drops, um, mainly because the shade range is a lot different than the actual foundation itself. Um, so I wasn't really sure which one I was going to be. Um, Sephora at the time actually didn't have the shade finder, so I kind of had. That's another reason why I had to go in and swatch because I really honestly couldn't tell through the website um, or the Fenty website. So the shade I swatched and I feel like was the best one was number seven and now Sephora has the shade finder and when I put in my regular shades for other foundations the one I get is number five instead of seven but when I look at number five I honestly think that this is like way too light for me that being said it's hard to tell just because like when I've been watching other reviews for the eavesdrops, like there's been like some people are like in between shades, like they can use one or the other, um, or yeah, like the like the actual skin tint looks like it's gonna be too light or too dark, and then they try it and it works great. But that's the nice thing about something that is minimal coverage, and based off of what I've read and seen, they do kind of just like blend into your skin very nicely. So I'm a little nervous. I feel like this is might not be the shade for me just because now they have the shade finder. Um, but we're gonna try it and hope for the best. Um, but at least if we like the product overall, then we can just get the right shade that we need if we need it. But I, I, I feel like I swatched it and this was the right shade. However, I have been out in the sun a little bit more lately so since I actually got it, so I'm not really sure if my face has tanned too much, but SPF, you know, my skin's always gonna be a little bit lighter than the rest of me. And then for the Bright Fix Eye Brightener, I got the shade Butter. This wasn't available in store, but based off of when I was looking on the website, it looks like that is going to be my best shade. I'm hoping so. I haven't even swatched it or opened it up yet, so this is going to be my first time trying this. Um, so fingers crossed that this is the right <laughs> Bright Fix shade for me. <laughs> so let's just let's get into it. So because everything is very lightweight, I'm actually going to go in with the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. 
Just because this primer is a very lightweight primer, it feels more like skincare to me than it does a primer. So I feel like this one is going to be the best one for using these lightweight foundations and concealers. I do have a brush to apply the skin tint, but I don't usually apply anything with a brush, like when it comes to foundations and stuff like that. But I'm going to try applying it with a brush and see how I like it on one side, and then I will apply it with a beauty blender on the other side and see what works better. It does say on the website to use your hands. Um, but I just, I don't know, I don't really do that either. We'll see, maybe maybe I'll give it a try like in the forehead area and see how that works. Cause I kinda wanna try a little bit of everything <laughs> and see what works best with applying. So I'm gonna apply the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer. Okay, so like overall when I look at the bottle, it looks like it is like the perfect shade for me, but like I said in other reviews that I've seen, like sometimes I look at the shade and I'm like, that ain't your shade girl. But then when they put it on, it's like perfect. It's a perfect match. So it's like, it's weird. I don't really know what to expect. I'm so nervous to try this, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna squirt like a little bit on my hand here. And then I'm gonna use the brush. And I'm just gonna lightly like, Tap along. So the shade looks fine. So I swatched it and it, this I think is gonna be better. I think if I did get number five, it would be like too light for me. Like I don't think that it would work very well. Um, it's definitely, of course, like very minimal like coverage but it does enough that it does kind of lighten up my blemishes and acne scarring just a little bit and I'm not really looking to cover it up that's not what I expect from this product at all what I just wanted it to do was just lighten it up just a little bit so that it's not as pigmented and it kind of looks like it is more or less fading because realistically like I've been kind of more comfortable in my skin. I actually don't wear makeup very often, but to find something that for the summertime that I can just wear and quickly put on, um, that's what I'm looking for. And this is, I don't use, I've this, never used skin tints before, so this is my first time. But so far I'm kind of liking the coverage on this. And applying it with a brush, um, not bad. I think it's good, it works. Um, I just don't usually apply this stuff with um, a brush, so it's kind of new territory for me. So yeah, like so this side, I put it on the che my cheek area and a little bit on the jawline and I'm actually quite impressed. And it is very lightweight. It doesn't really feel like much, like at all. So, hmm. All right, so, so far I'm impressed with the skin tint part of it but this side is doesn't have as deep um, pigmentation as this side and my forehead so we'll actually see how that works on those areas just because I'm curious if I'm gonna need to build it up a little bit but I'm gonna try applying it with I mean you know, I'm gonna try with my hands I'm gonna try it on my forehead and see how that works so when I'm applying it with my fingers, I'm just kind of like doing a little bit of like dabbing motions and just like spreading it a little bit so that it kind of spreads around. I'm going to be quite honest with you, I don't think I really like doing this with my hands. It's not really my thing. If I would definitely prefer the brush over this. But when I'm looking at it, it definitely helps with that darker pigmentation, those acne scars like this one here, and a little bit of a breakout that I've had. It definitely helps um, lighten it up a little bit and just blur it a little bit more into my skin so it doesn't look as red and as dark as in pigment. Um, again, I'm not trying to like cover them up completely because like that's not what this product is gonna do, but it definitely helps lighten it up for me a little bit and I feel a lot better. 
And the nice thing about it is it doesn't look like I tried to cover it up. So it doesn't look like it's like, like over the acne and stuff like that. It's not like, I don't know, like bunching up over it because it, it tends to get kind of dry in those areas. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply just a little bit more. I'm gonna see if I can build it up a little bit. So when it comes to like building it up, it built up a little bit. It's not a whole lot. Um, it's not going to do much, like give you that much of a difference, I find. Um, but it definitely does build a little bit. So if there is something that you feel like you want to just, you know, blur out a little bit more, you could do that. But you're not going to get like full coverage or medium coverage. Like it's still going to be very minimal. Applying with my fingers, not exactly my favorite thing to do. I don't really like applying with my fingers. Um, I feel like it takes a little bit longer as well, um, which you guys already know I don't get a lot of times. I feel like normally I wouldn't use as much product, but because I'm using different techniques to apply it, I feel like I'm using so much more. So let's try the sponge. Okay, so with a sponge, it's actually not bad. I feel like I'm getting more buildable coverage just with the sponge alone. So that would work, but I feel like, yeah, I am going through product. Actually, I would say probably about the same as using um, my brush. Using your fingers definitely saves you more product because it's not soaking into anything like a brush or a sponge. So that is one way of doing that if you want to save more product. But I'm probably gonna just go with sponge on this one actually. I'm kinda glad that it doesn't actually soak in as much as I thought it would. This blemish over here is a little bit lightened up. It's not fully covered, but it is definitely lighter than it was. And I am actually impressed with the actual coverage itself. I think it actually looks really nice. Um, it feels good on my skin as well. Like I think overall, like what I I was actually expecting a lot less in terms of you know covering up and lightening things a little bit for me. I was expecting it to not really do much for me, um, but actually it did do quite a bit more than I expected. So. Overall, I'm actually really impressed. Not only that, but it does not look like I really applied anything. It's so lightweight and so light coverage. It gives me a natural like shine to my skin as well. So it doesn't really just doesn't look like I really applied anything. So pretty good so far. Okay. Okay. So this is the Bright Fix. Um, concealer, brightener, eye brightener, um, and uh, again, I haven't even swatched this shade because I didn't have it available in store. It looks a little yellow to me, but you know, it is what it is. We're going to see what happens. Uh, oh, that seems so yellow, but it was actually a really popular shade, the butter shade. It actually sells out pretty quickly. I'm actually going to use a concealer brush. And then I'm going to blend it out with the sponge. It is definitely more like liquidy, but it's supposed to be like super lightweight, right? So like, yeah, like I feel like this is so yellow and like and different from like what I'm used to when it comes to like concealers, but we'll see when it's blended. Oh God. So I'm going to just blend it out very gently. I find that a lot of people have been using their fingers to blend it out, but I'm just not a finger gal when it comes to putting my makeup on and blending. And I'm going ever so lightly because it is definitely more like watery and I don't want to take off too much product, but it definitely does brighten it up. Okay, it is definitely hydrating and I would say it is um, very, very lightweight, but it does 
for me personally like I can you can't see it on camera but I have these creases underneath my eyes and it does bunch up a little bit in there I'm gonna apply it a little bit more just to see if I can get it a little bit brighter just because it does brighten it up but it doesn't take away the kind of like darker like purpley undertone that kind of happens under my eyes um, it's not like very very much so but I can still see it I just want to see if I can you know um, like Brighten it up just a little bit more. Now that I applied in that area and I kind of blended it just a little bit more, I find that the concealer in that actual area that it was kind of bunching up is not doing that anymore. So I think it just took a little bit more blending. Um, but overall, like my under eye is definitely a lot brighter and it looks like naturally brighter. Like it doesn't look like I applied any concealer underneath my eyes to brighten it up because I noticed like if you do that, sometimes it kind of just like, it just it doesn't work. Like <laughs> it doesn't look the same. But when it comes to this one, it's actually really nice and it gives you such a natural like finish. Um, so I'm gonna say that one is good. Also, I was nervous about the shade itself. I felt like it was a little bit too yellowy for me. But you know what? It actually works really well and it blends in very nicely. I think if I had gone with any other shade, it might not have been either. It would have been either too bright for my skin. And I think it would have looked a little bit more obvious that I was brightening my under eyes. Um, but the shade actually worked out perfectly for me when it blends in, the undertone and everything just kind of meshes in. So, so far, the products being nervous about the shade color have been not bad, like they've been pretty good. So, I'm gonna say that's a win. I'm probably still going to put a little bit of um, setting powder under my eyes just because I like to do that and it helps prevent the cakiness that can happen because I have those like, little, little lines underneath my eyes. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit on and we'll see how it sits with a little bit of um, setting powder. So I applied a very minimal setting powder just because I know it's very lightweight and honestly I don't feel like I need too much just because it isn't very cakey or anything like that. Like I'm, I just need a little bit and it's fine. I think if I did any more and baked my under eyes, I think that it would take off the concealer when I basically take it off. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up my face. I'm gonna do some bronzer, some blush and everything, do my brows. I'm doing a very minimal makeup look today. Um, so I'm not gonna be applying lashes or shadow or anything like that. I just wanted to make it look more like I'm having just a very natural glowy day. Um, so far the concealer and the skin tint are making the dream come true. So we'll see how it how everything looks when we are done the rest. Okay, so I have applied a little bit of bronzer and some blush and did my brows. And overall, you know, the skin tint is holding up nicely. I used a powder blush and a powder bronzer and I just, I go very lightly just because I'm just looking for a little bit of color to my face, um, but Honestly, like when I'm looking in the camera and stuff like that, I actually feel like my skin looks really nice. Everything, like it just gives me that minimal coverage. I have a little bit of a glow and it's, I wouldn't say it's like completely natural looking, but I think I could do it if I really wanted to. Um, you can definitely see that I'm wearing a little bit of something on my face, especially with like the bronzer and stuff like that. But it's very minimal and it's just like, when I'm looking to go out quickly and just want to, you know, freshen up my skin, brighten it up a little bit, I think that these products would be my go-to. Um, 
they feel really nice and they feel very very lightweight so overall I would say I'm pretty impressed this for my first skin tint um, I haven't tried any other ones but we will see how this wears um, over time like if it fades if it's gonna rub off like what's gonna happen um, but overall first application and applying some things over top of it it's actually very nice and feels and looks really good I'm I'm very happy with the end result right now so yeah let's do a little bit of a wear test and then I'll touch base again and we'll see how it holds up a little bit over a couple hours and over time okay y'all so the final wear test of the Fenty skin tint I would probably say I've been wearing it for probably about eight hours and honestly my skin still feels lightweight doesn't really feel like there's anything on it um, I still have like the minimal coverage um, my under eyes are actually still bright like it doesn't look like it's worn off um, I'm a little bit tired now I mean it's been eight hours and I haven't taken a nap or anything so um, there's that but my under eyes and my eyes are are still like brightened up. I still look, you know, alive and ready to take on the day. Um, I will say that my skin has a little bit of like an oil, but it's not overly oily, so that's good, of course. Um, but for like long wear, I would say it's actually done pretty well. I did wear a mask today, so around my nose and in here around my mouth, it has kind of come off, like mostly in here. Um, but everywhere else is still giving me like that minimal coverage. It's pretty good. I'm gonna say like I this for my first skin tint and trying this one, um, it for me it does set the bar pretty high, like I think it's really good, I'm actually going to use it more often um, and I really do like the Bright Fix um, concealer, it really does brighten up my under eyes and it feels so lightweight, like it just, it doesn't make me feel like I'm wearing a lot of concealer and anything, it's like literally just brightens up my eyes a little bit. And I can go about my day and it gives me just like an overall natural glow so I'm gonna say thumbs up I really like it I do want to know if there's any other skin tints um, like foundations and stuff like that that you would recommend please comment down below because I'm kind of curious to see like how these work overall just because this is totally new territory to me and um, it's pretty exciting um, and so like nice to just put on and go out and feel like I did something <laughs> for myself because I don't even put on makeup. But when I put on full coverage or medium coverage foundation, I kind of want to go all out and put on lashes and stuff like that. But the skin tint and the light coverage just kind of makes me feel like, okay, we look fresh. We're ready to take on the day. So yeah, I'm curious about other skin tints and I want to know what you would recommend because I am curious and I want to try them out. Or if there's any that you've been curious about and you want to actually, um, you know, hear more about, I can test it out and see what we think, like which ones are better and which ones are maybe not worth it. Um, so yes, please comment down below. And thanks for so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that the information I'm giving you will help you decide in the future if you decide to go into the skin tint direction that Fenty might be one of the ones that you try. Uh, same with the concealer. It's actually really good. I'm really impressed. Um, but but again, thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And bye for now guys.